question mark admission discharge and transfer policy admission discharge and transfer of patients in patient settings question mark introduction this policy document provides overarching quality principles for the admission transfer and discharge of patients the admission to an inpatient takes place when the patient may be severely unwell an admission should be planned it is recognized that every patient will be admitted when there is a clearly identified need for admission timely safe and appropriate discharge the patient and service user question mark scope each service may have their own specific pathway to reflect the needs of the patients in and out of their inpatient unit it is expected that all relevant staff involved in the admission transfer and discharge of patients we will expect other services that utilize and support in patient settings to apply the principles of this policy as a minimum standard within their services definitions 1. PRE admission is the assessment process used to identify the need for admission to an inpatient setting 2. Dot admission admission is the act of transferring care from community or another environment to trust inpatient service planned 1. Dot where the admission has been negotiated with the community team 2. Dot WHEN the admission is part of a CPA contingency and slash or crisis plan 3. Dot where the patient had been receiving home treatment or intensive home support immediately prior to requiring admission. Question mark 4. Dot emergency Where the admission process was initiated and carried through on the same day from any service, except same day referrals from other inpatient units slash hospitals. 5. Dot transfer Transfer is defined as the movement of a patient and their care and treatment needs from one inpatient unit to another. 6. Dot discharge Discharge is the act of concluding an episode of care within an inpatient setting and handing over responsibility of the care to another service or care provider. 7. Delayed transfer of care. The delayed transfer of care occurs when a patient is ready to depart and is delayed. Duty slash responsibilities. The chief executive has ultimate responsibility for ensuring that safe and effective patient discharges. Senior nursing and managerial staff must ensure that all staff involved in the admission, discharge and transferring of patients are aware and adhere to this policy. All clinical and non-clinical staff are responsible for applying the principles contained in this all localities and services are expected to produce an integrated care pathway for admission through to discharge pertinent to their area. All members of the multidisciplinary team should be aware of individual patients' needs related to admission. Discharge and transfer. The multidisciplinary team should ensure that all care and plan support is scheduled and confirmed. Question mark the EIP and C procedure for documenting and sharing the decision to admit will be made when all options have been considered and deemed inappropriate. The admission should be arranged at the nearest clinically appropriate inpatient unit. The admission is person-centered and the decision includes consultation with carers slash relatives as appropriate. The reason for admission, 
expected outcomes and likely length of stay will be discussed with the patient and carer. The rationale for the admission will be made clear to the patient and their carer. The reason for admission, expected outcomes and likely length of stay will be discussed with the inpatient unit. The spread to a full record of the assessment will be provided on electronic and slash or paper records. Admission information should include all relevant clinical information pertinent to the needs of the patient. The referring clinician slash team member coordinating the admission will contact the ward as soon as admission is identified. The bed will be age and gender appropriate for the service user. The referring clinician slash team member will ensure that the GP and other care services provided for the patient are made aware of the admission. The referring clinician slash team member will request that the service user brings all medicines currently prescribed into hospital with them. Infection, Prevention and Control Measures Information about infections and their treatment will be followed. Question mark admissions including emergency admissions. Ideally, all planned admissions will be within Monday to Friday between the hours of 9 o'clock and 1700 hours. Within two hours of admission the following good practice should be adhered to. The admitting nurse's responsibility. An initial risk assessment, risk management plan and care plan will be undertaken immediately. Medication. Medicines reconciliation. Patients should have their medicines reconciled within 24 HRS of admission. Alerts will be recorded in line on record keeping, resuscitation status, and information sharing consent proforma. The patient's GP will be informed of the admission. The following will be clearly recorded on the patient record. The reasons for the admission. The patient's understanding of the reasons for admission. The goals for admission from both the professional and service user perspective. Information about the admission will be recorded in the admission book slash electronic patient administration system. The patient must be informed about their care and the treatment they will receive. Within six HRS of admission following will be undertaken. Generally a physical examination is expected soon after the admission. If a physical examination has already been carried out and is documented, it does not need to be done again. Question mark patients, property will be checked and recorded on arrival. An initial care plan will be recorded. A named nurse slash key worker will be allocated to the patient. Appropriate support will be provided to carers identification of the problem. S. Goals for treatment activities to achieve outcomes. Methods for achieving these goals. Estimated time to meet the goals. This plan should include any further assessment or investigations. All previous historical clinical records of the patient will be obtained from the clinical slash medical records department. 48 hours of admission the following processes will be undertaken. An estimated date of discharge will be set by the admitting slash name nurse slash key worker. Within 24 hours the name nurse should document whether the patient has simple or complex discharge and transfer planning needs. The initial care plan, drawn up within the first six hours. Question mark transfer. Transfer of care can occur within the same unit slash hospital or within the division and across divisions. The following transfer principles will be applied. A decision to transfer a patient will be based on assessment of risk and needs. The ward's multidisciplinary team will have conducted assessment of risk and health. A formal transfer request will be made to the receiving inpatient unit. The reason for the transfer. Rationale and an explanation of the care pathway. Transfer of care to another ward or community service. Clinical discussion within the multidisciplinary teams and between both inpatient consultants. Coordination of the transfer of care process. The ward staff are responsible and accountable for communication. All clinical information will be fully handed over to the receiving ward. If Rio is not used then the information will be written and sent to the receiving unit. These are any known infection risks such as Clostridium difficile, MRSA, unexplained diarrhea, significant physical health concerns. Any significant mobility and sensory impairment needs. Any significant safeguarding concerns. Question mark A comprehensive transfer summary will be sent. Patients will be admitted to a ward in their local area. The patient and their carer will be kept fully informed as to when they will be able to be transferred to their area ward. The name nurse slash key worker will liaise daily to review bed availability. 
the care coordinator from the local area community team will contact the out of area ward. Transfer back to the patient's area ward will be led by the outlying ward. Discharge. Start planning for discharge or transfer before or on admission. Identify whether the patient has simple or complex discharge. Develop a clinical management plan for every patient within 24 hours of admission. Coordinate the discharge or transfer of care process. Discuss with the patient length of admission or date of discharge. Review the clinical management plan. Involve patients and carers. Plan discharges and transfers to take place over 7 days. Use a discharge checklist 24 to 48 hours prior to transfer. Make decisions to discharge and transfer patients each day. The name nurse slash keyworker will discuss the reasons and the goals for the admission. Planning for discharge will be detailed in a discharge care plan. Comprehensive, ongoing assessment. Question mark ongoing review of the discharge care plans will take place weekly. All options for discharge will be discussed with the patient and or their representative. S. Where it is expected that a move to a care home ward managers or other senior nurses will monitor the time. A discharge multidisciplinary case review meeting will be arranged. The name nurse slash keyworker will ensure outcomes are communicated to the team. The patient will be identified as ready for discharge when the patient is deemed medically fit. Support and resources are identified. A discharge checklist will be completed for every patient. The outcomes of this discharge will be discussed. All discussions with the patient and or their representative, S, will be recorded. An adequate preparation for discharge is made. The care arrangements following discharge will be clearly identified and recorded. The patient slash carer slash representatives receive appropriate advice and education. The name nurse slash key worker will liaise with other professionals involved to ensure the availability of and supervision arrangements for all necessary equipment, dietary supplements, etc. Where required. The name nurse slash key worker working closely with other professionals will advise community services colleagues in writing and verbally if necessary of the discharge and follow-up care required. All patients will have appropriate arrangements for follow-up after discharge. Where discharge is delayed due to the service user being unwell, the identified professional will inform the patient's relatives. If a patient chooses to self-discharge they will talk to the nurse in charge. All patients will receive information about risks of infection. Question mark medicines. Patients should have their medicines reviewed and reconciled prior to completing the immediate discharge prescription slash letter. This includes any withheld during their stay. The review and reconciliation should use the information recorded on the prescription chart. Discharge medicines supporting treatment will be prescribed for 28 days. The discharge medicine performer will record all medicines being taken at the time of discharge with their dosage and frequency. The discharge address will be confirmed. Discharge medication, TOS. The following will be included into the discharge plan. Continuing NHS care criteria assessment provision of equipment. A minimum of 14 days supply of medicines. Transfer of care documentation is required related to medicines. An assessment for patients to self-medicate. Control drugs as discharge medicines. Patient name. Date drug name plus strength plus form. Quantity. The patient slash carer slash driver should also sign the register for the receipt of the controlled. Question mark on the day of discharge. On the planned day of discharge the patient will be assessed by the name nurse. The name nurse slash key worker will ensure completion of the appropriate service. Discharge pathway. Administrative staff will ensure prompt and timely completion of administrative slash electronic records relating to patient discharge. Out of our discharge. No discharge should be unplanned. It is not our policy to discharge patients from hospital out of hours. A patient who has a planned discharge may arrange to leave the hospital out of hours. Training requirements. All clinical staff should receive training through their induction processes on commencing work. All clinical staff should receive training related to the management of medicines. Question mark monitoring compliance. This policy will be reviewed through the clinical audit program and regular monitoring by senior nurses slash matrons e.g. Regular monitoring of the discharge checklist and associated standards and timelines. 
look at the table for elements to be monitored in their monotong responsibilities.